Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video here today upon my channel guys. Today my friends, welcome back to Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled Part 2. As it is on Part 1, throughout the adventure mode we managed to complete the first warp room. We completed the four races and took on Ripperoo and we managed to defeat him, you know what I mean? We got the boss key and now we're just going to be continuing on from where we last left off. And going to be making our way over to the second, well you could say area basically. Well, Asita's, I just want to get straight back into the action with this game because I absolutely love it. It's just, it's like a blast from the past for me and it just, I don't know, I get so much nostalgia just playing this because obviously I played so much of the original game back in the day. I know I kind of, kind of mentioned this on part one, but I used to love Crash Team Racing back in the day. I know obviously this is like a combination of Crash Team Racing and Nitro Kart put together, especially with the characters and stuff, And but it's, it's just so cool. You know what I mean? It's just really, really, really cool. So hopefully we can uh, make some good progress with him part two. Fingers crossed, okay? Mm. I feel snug as a bug still in me and my dressing gown as well. I just don't want to leave my dressing gown today. I just feel so lazy and I just want to, you know, just chill in it all day. <laughs> Do you ever get them days, guys, where you just want to sit at home and just keep your dressing gown on or onesie on or something and you just want to stay nice and warm? That's how I feel today, okay? But I'm just so eager to beat this game as well, so I'm not sure how many parts are going to be. I'm guessing. Well, maybe four or five parts, depending on how much content we can do per part. But I see it as. It all depends if you want to see more videos on this after we've done the adventure mode playthrough. You now, I mean, if you want me to do the CTR tokens or the Grand Prix thing and everything in the game, then I'll let me know, okay? Gotta go fast. Come on. I used to love Coco Park. Remember back in the day how it used to look and seeing this now it looks visually beautiful. Damn it. <laughs> it's always one person who comes at me with like a missile and just fires it straight at me. It's always one. Come on. My turn. See how you like it. Oh, I stole my crate. <laughs> that was close then. Oh, we nearly had him then. So close. I do like some of the customization options that they've got for the characters as well. Like, Cortex has got this like Egyptian uniform thing on as well. I think it's pretty cool. The proper, like, 43 how the customization's gonna work in this game, you know what I mean? Like, customizing wheels, carts, the colors of the carts, and the characters and stuff. But some of the skins for the characters are things that you've seen from previous Call cool, like, not from previous Crash Bandicoot games. I was gonna say Call of Duty then. Um, but it's like, for example, you can have um, Crash Bandicoot in his scuba diving uniform, which obviously we've seen in Crash Bandicoot Warped and stuff, which I think is pretty cool. Come on, we need to win now. Come on. Yeah. No! How did he come first? Literally, I was in the lead then. He just literally snuck straight past me. No way. That was absolute BS, I'm not gonna lie. Fair play to him though. <laughs> it was a sneaky move. I didn't even realize it was that close to me. I wasn't really paying a like paying attention to the map in like the little map icon that you've got. Where it shows you where the races are and stuff. I wasn't really paying attention to that, so I should have. Because I would have known how close it was to me, but Anyhow, these things happen. Boys, let's keep going. Let me know down below in the comment section have you beaten the adventure mode within this game yet? Let me know. And let me know if you played the original game back in the day. Just 
Yeah, man. Come on, give me some good stuff. I should have left that one right next to a crate. That would have been a sneaky little move there, to be honest, if I did do that. Come on, we've got to win this race now. Got to keep an eye on that map indicator because I don't want Quartex catching up with me again. Come yeah, on. You nearly got myself hit there by uh, a potion. Well, I've got a question for you guys out there as well, is that if you could see any other Crash Bandicoot title being remastered in the future, which one would you like to see next? Like me personally, I've got thing, I've got my eye on probably Crash Bash, Nitro Kart, and maybe is it Twin Insanity? I'd love to see a remake of that, I think that'd be pretty cool. But it's all down to what would you guys like to see, you know what I mean? If you've got any favourite Crash Bandicoot titles that haven't already been remastered, then you know, let me know which one you would like to see next. But, Asita's personally as well, I would love to see a brand new Crash Bandicoot game that we haven't seen before. And Asita's just be able to experience something new. But, you know, who knows? Who knows what Activision might have up their sleeve when it comes to the future. And whether or not Beanox or Valkarius Visions or something are going to be working on it. Who knows? But, I'm excited for the future for Crash. And I'm hoping that we can have some more great games coming. Ding, 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 ding. Show Quartex and Coco who's boss. Yeah, boy. Congratulations, you win a trophy. Obviously, bro. Always winning them trophies. The more Wampa fruit you collect, the faster your cart will go. If you collect and hold ten Wampa fruits, you'll be juiced up, and your power up will become more potent. I already know that, but cheers for the useful tips. Right, we better go to our next race. <clears throat> oh, nice. Tiger Temple. So good. Can't be a nice cold can of energy drinks, especially when you're gaming and stuff. Like I love drinking energy drinks in general, but it always feels good knowing that you can just sit back, relax, play a video game that you enjoy, and have a nice cold can of energy drink. It just I don't know. It just feels good to me. I know people have like their own different preferences. Like I know friends who just drink water when they're gaming. I know some people just drink coffee or drink tea or even drink pop. But for me. It's gonna be a nice cold energy drink. I remember this map. But <laughs> I can remember it all pixelated and just looking, you know, super old gem back on the PS1. Go, 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 go. Careful, 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 careful. There's always one. Take him. Come on. Come on. 
Waku, waku, waku. Come on, we can do this. Yeah, boy. Come on, we need to keep this momentum. Oh, I should have just kept my shield on. I would have gone straight through the fire then. I've got to win this race. I've got to do the on this lap. Oh my god. I think we got him anyway. There we go, my friends. <laughs> Managed to obviously take on the tiny temple and show you who's boss. Second race to go. Um, we've got two more races and then a boss boss race, so hopefully we should fly for that with well. Should fly through it pretty easily, hopefully. Fingers crossed, anyway. But yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed the video so far. If you are, give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to see more games like this in the future here on more Aaron Cooper, then just let me know down below in the comment section, okay? I'll see it is. I've got so many great games in mind. I'm thinking of doing games um, like Resident Evil and stuff soon. I've been, I've been thinking about doing Resident Evil Zero to start off my Resident Evil... And play through so if you would like me to play that soon let me know all right congratulations you, you earned a trophy to get around a tight turn or to face a direction quickly use the brake slide by pressing and holding the brake button while turning hard okay okay Nice, got a new set of wheels. Team Trance. Let's check out these, uh... Check out these wheels. Oh, that's pretty nice. Kinda like them. <laughs> the old classic carts. Some mad cars on this. Retro Crash. That's how Crash used to look back in the day, boys. Now he just looks awesome as ever. <laughs> See, I want the reindeer one. The reindeer one looks awesome. All right, looks like we're going on here, boys. Papu's Pyramid. Um, in case you don't know who Papu is, Papu is, um, if you remember my playthrough on Crash Bandicoot 1, on the remake of Crash Bandicoot 1, you had this, like, big, massive, fat guy who waved around that big stick thing and we had to jump on him. It's basically him. Um, but I think his name's Papu Papu. And um, he's going to be the next boss that we do need to take on. I mean, I do remember the bosses in this game. And the Cetas. Man. It's going to be fun taking on Papu Papu. Hopefully he's going to, you know, be a little bit more tricky than Ripperoo. Because I found that Ripperoo was tricky, but it was also kind of easy. It wasn't too difficult. So I'm, I'm expecting a little bit more of a challenge this time around when it comes to the second boss, but who knows? We'll soon find out once we get through these remaining races. But this is the map that we end up facing him on. And this map just looks beautiful compared to how I remember it back in the day. Had some mad little shortcut spots on this map as well. Yeah. 
So obviously if, in case you guys weren't aware, some of the maps do have shortcuts that you can take and little secret areas you can get around to certain parts of the maps on, which is pretty good. But it's just obviously, you know, if you know them or not. I don't think all the maps have it, but I know some maps do. Oh, damn it. I'll try to get in front of another racer, see if it would hit that other racer, but this wasn't working for me. Come on, bro. Calm down with the rockets. Jesus Christ. See how you like it. Come on. Come on, Cortex, you're mine, okay? Ah, oh, I thought he was going to fall into that TNT then. I was hoping I was going to get way ahead of him. Come on. Do this, come on. Right, final lap now, come on. Got a really good lead right now as well, which is good. Oh, no, 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 slowing down. Don't want to be doing that. Almost done it, almost done it. So close. There we go, my friends. <laughs> nice. We nearly unlocked our next reward as well. Looks like we've got a carrot at the end as well that we can unlock, which obviously if we do get us nitro gauge all the way up. Um, I'm not sure what happens when it comes to the Grand Prix thing within this game. I don't know, like, if, say, for example, with myself, obviously I must have missed a couple of other Grand Prix event things that have been on. I'm just wondering, like, um, can you re earn them items? Like, is there ways you can earn them? Or is it just through playing the game? Or is it just limited time only? Um, if you, any of you guys out there have been playing since the, like, the, like, the full launch of this game, if you know, then could you please let me know? Because um, obviously then I know for future videos in case you all would like to see more content on this. Um, but I see too, because I'm interested in obviously gain more characters, you know what I mean? Yeah. Congratulations. You, you earned a trophy. a trophy. Right, it's one more race now. You can get a hang time turbo from jumping. The longer you're in the air, the bigger the turbo you'll get when you land. For big turbos, try to get extra air time by hopping off jumps using the hop button. Okie dokie. I already know this, but... You know what I mean? It's it's good to be reminded with these things. Obviously, it's I know why it's there. It's obviously, it's there for people who didn't know, who are new to the game. To open this door, you must come in first place in all four races of this area. Yeah, I already know that, bro. I didn't mean to trigger that. Anyways, let's get this race done. Dingo Canyon. This is like Dingo Dial sort of area. But I can say though, guys, it's, we've made some good progression so far. See, uh, we kind of flew for the first world. And which I did have my theory that we would fly for the first wheel fairly quickly. And then obviously, you know, we, well, we've got to do this race and then we've got to take on the boss. You know what I mean? So, Asita's <laughs> hopefully going to be able to smash this.
Ready for this one, boys? I'll tell you one thing now. There's one thing that this remake does do. And I don't know if it's just me, because I played the original game, or whether it's just... I don't know. Whether it's just because it's well designed. Is that I remember all these maps, like, I've been playing so far, like, well, majority, mo most of them at least, anyway. But I remember them how they used to look. So now when I'm seeing them from, like, a new perspective, like, remastered and looking awesome as ever, I can't help but, like, constantly keep looking around the map because it's just, it looks so colourful, it's, it's vibrant, it's nice looking. And, I don't know, it's just, it's mad to think of how it used to look and how it looks now. I don't know, it just proper blows my mind. Good boys! Come on. Come on, we can do this. I'm not gonna lie, Tiny Tiger's pretty quick. Oh my days. Final lap. See how you boys like it. <clears throat> Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Stick in the lead. Need to be careful. Oh, nice. No, we just managed to cross the finish line. If we fired that a couple of seconds early, we could have overtook him at the last moment, but... Man. Okay. Give it another go, though. I'm not gonna lie, though. Tani is pretty quick. Compared to other races, he seems pretty fast. So remember, obviously, like, in the original game, there was some races slightly faster than others, but... It's like, every racer had like, the pros and cons to him. Like, I know with Crash Bandicoot, it was more of a, he was well balanced, he was kind of a balanced racer. Which, I kind of prefer that because obviously it's based on your speed and everything else, but... I know Tiny was quick, but I think he was kind of slow when it came to, when it came to like, turns and stuff, I think it was that. But I don't know, in this, in this remake he seems pretty quick. <laughs> oh damn it. Why is people coming at me with rockets all the time? It's always somebody with rockets. No matter who it is, there's always someone. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Out of my way! Alright, we need to win. We need to win. There we go. Come on. Come on, Aaron. We can do this. Tiny's too quick. Come on, you can do it. No! He overtook me again. He's literally like set like seconds off from each other. Man. I need to try and take Tiny out, I really do. To try and stop him from getting a lead. I need to proper take him out. I'm gonna have to I don't want to sound like I'm being a bully, but I'm going to have to physically target him to make sure he doesn't win. So if I get rockets or anything, I'm going to have to, like, 
constantly keep shooting him with them. Man, what is it with people and these rockets? Come on. Yeah, that's how you boys like it. Coming through, ladies. Man. What the hell is going on? I didn't mean to do that. No! You dropped down to seven. Come on, Aaron. I need to focus. I've got to do something this lap, otherwise, we're going to have to redo it. Keep the lead. Keep the lead, Aaron. Come on. Come on. We do this. We can do it. We can do it. So close. So close. Yes! Managed to do it. <laughs> nice. That's how we do it, boys. That's how we do it. It was tricky though, I'm not going to lie, that race was a little bit tricky compared to normal. It's like in the first area that we had the, um, we had a little few issues, didn't we, with the sewer mission? Well, the sewer race, not mission. Um, but, I see it is with this one, obviously it's Dingo Canyon we're having problems with. Maybe each, every area, uh, each and every area that we go into, we might have a problem with one of the races where it just gets a little bit trickier than normal, but... Hopefully it isn't going to be the case moving forward, okay? Hopefully we can just fly for the remaining races with flying colours and beat the game. Hopefully. Oh. It's like a dingo dyer. It's like a painter. I'm sick on Papu Papu. Papu much tired of watching puny slugs race so slow. Papu wanting action to lay Boo down big and through Papu is world's best driver. Papu moves so fast, you munch tracks. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's take on the fat guy. Okay, so Team Trance cart. Let's have a look at this cart. Pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty cool. Hmm. That's pretty cool. I do like the color schemes too as well. Oh, that red looks nice. Purple. Red though. That red's nice. I do like that red. Put a sticker on it. Uh, yeah, we'll go with the crash sticker. Hmm. <laughs> right, I'm ready, boys. Time to take on Papu Papu. Hopefully, we can beat him. Hopefully. Like I said, we're going to be playing on the Papu's, Papu's like uh, pyramid sort of map, one of the maps that we've already been on. Um, so we should we should be able to do it, because I used to like this particular race back in the day. Like, he was one of my favorite bosses I like to take on. I think the hardest boss that I did struggle with when I was a kid was Nitro Oxide, because sometimes it was just ridiculously fast, and Pinstripe. Like, Pinstripe was tricky to beat. But other than that, 
this guy wasn't too difficult back in the day. But obviously, that was many years ago, so we've got to see how this all plays out. <laughs> Come on, boys. The thing is, I do like with bosses is the fact that he can't fire anything forward. I think he can only fire backwards. No! How did you get me? Seriously. Rocket, so use them wisely. Okay, or well maybe not. <laughs> I did try. I don't get how he's getting me. Seriously, I didn't even touch its tentacles or anything. It just seems like if you go anywhere, any form of way near, like, I can't get words out right now, anywhere near it, it'll just, it'll just get you. What the hell? This guy's miles ahead of me right now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch him. Oh, great. I generally don't know if I'm going to be able to catch him. Oh, I'm going to have to restart it. He's miles ahead of me. Ah. Right. <laughs> it's them stupid plants. I hate them. <laughs> They're so annoying. Yeah, you like it being shot by a rocket. Yeah, boy. Come on, we could do this. Let's get, let's keep the lead now. Try not mess up and keep away from them plants. Come on. Might as well just keep keep all of these rockets because the fact if he does get a lead of me, like I can just easily take him out, take him out of the way. You know what I mean? Haha! <laughs> so long, sucker. Burning rubber, nice. Burn rubber. Yeah, boy. lead on him now. We've got a good lead. Got to keep it going now. I was going to catch up. Ah! Oh my god. Aku Aku, please help me get the lead. Got him, got him. Go, 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 go! Woohoo! 
There we go, my friends. <laughs> Me fast, you slow. <laughs> nice. Smashed it. We showed the fat guy what we're made of. We want the new skunks and uh, skunk skin for Crash. Nice. Peasy boys. Uh, Papu not himself today. Maybe Papu not eating a big breakfast. Oh, uh. <laughs> you are fast for being so small. Here's key to help. Uh. <laughs> Oxide much bigger problem for you. Him not as big, but him much more grumpy. <laughs> okay. Well, I can't beat a grumpy old alien. And in this case, you can't beat a grumpy old fat guy. But still, it was a bit of a challenge. And Asita's... I'm going to be bringing this video to an end shortly, guys. Asita's in the next war room... Well, the next area, not war room. I'm just used to calling it war rooms from previous Crash titles. But in the next area... We should be taking on, if I can remember correctly, I think it's Komodo Joe, which is like a dragon lizard thing. Oh, nice. We unlock Papu Papu. Got a new paint job, the yellow color. <laughs> Papu Papu sticker. Nice. So like I said, what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. If you enjoyed part two to my playthrough on Crash Team Racing Nitro Field, then all I ask, guys, is that you give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe. Turn on the post notification icon to notify you when I upload any new content in the nearby future. If you have any game suggestions of your own and you would like me to play some of your favorite games here on the channel, then just let, them, let me know down below in the comment section, okay? You guys are awesome. Thank you for all the continued support here on my main channel and on my second channel, more Aaron Cooper, because... Asita's, you know what I mean, I'm busy as a content creator, and obviously, I'm grateful that I can just keep making videos for you guys, and I'm glad that you're enjoying them, okay? Really glad that you're enjoying them. Anyways, catch you again next time. See you all on part three real soon. Goodbye for now.